Hi everyone, I'm Marcus and I'm going to show you how Record Go rent a car deliberately committed fraud to scam my brother using a fake damage claim uh, out of 306 euros and 18 cents. <laughs> Okay, so my brother booked a car with Record Go uh, for the 27th of April for a duration of 10 days. Unfortunately, on the evening of the 27th, our dad was taken ill uh, and he was taken to hospital. Sadly, on the 28th, the next day, he died. Um, so my brother took the first flight that he could back to London to be with us uh, and he dropped the car back to Record Go. He said he can't take the hire for 10 days. Asked if they would refund it, they said no, they're sorry, but under the circumstances, they can't even refund the money. The booking would just, would, would just be ended there. Uh, they checked the car for damage, there was no damage. Um, Jason signed what he had to sign, so did the, the guy at the check-in area, uh, and that was it. Jason went on his way. He didn't have the presence of mind at the time due to the circumstances to keep the documentation and I guess he threw it away somewhere along the way figuring that there was no damage on the car and that was the end of that. Uh, so around two weeks later uh, Jason hadn't received his deposit back yet so he sends an email to Record Go um, and on the 16th of, April, of May sorry, he receives an email back from them. Um, the case number is as you can see there uh, they, they come back to him and they say let us inform you that you returned the car with some damage on the front bumper and the damage cost appraisal amounted to 306 euros and 18 cents. We would like to inform you that the hired vehicle implied an excess fee. This excess can be waived by taking the total comfort cover. However, you decided not to take the total comfort cover and prefer to leave the excess fee as a deposit in order to cover any potential damage. Please find attached the photographic evidences along with the signed damage report proving there was no previous damage on this area. Okay, so the next thing, there's three photos, which is their photographic evidence attached to this email, which are very interesting. Um, the first one, as you can see, is a picture of the, of the car, the number plate, um, and I believe it's a Ford Fiesta, from quite far out. Um, if you will notice, there is a chrome or silver border around the grille. Okay, and also the bumper looks like it is a complete one piece bumper. It's not split into two parts or anything like that. It looks like a solid piece of plastic from that screen. Um, there's then a close up of the number plate so we can make sure that this is the car that Jason rented. And again, if you can see, there's no strip along the bumper. It's one solid piece of, of uh, plastic. And most interestingly, and really importantly, if you look at the grill, the grill is made up of elongated, hexagon plastic shapes. They're definitely not horizontal and vertical, okay? That's really important because on the next picture, which these are all date and time stamped by Record Go, you can see this is the picture of the damage. Now, firstly, there's this big matte plastic strip that's appeared on the bumper, which does not appear on the other two pictures. And if you look closely at the grill, the grill is horizontal and vertical. There's, they're not, it's not the same grill. Um, and therefore, I can only conclude, I'm no forensic analyst or anything like that, but I can only conclude that this car is not the same car that they gave to my brother. There's a suddenly a black matte plastic strip across the bumper, and that grill is definitely not the same. Um, so all I can assume is that they fraudulently sent this picture in between the other two pictures, trying to come up with uh, damage on the car that clearly wasn't there. And what's really annoyed me about this is even with the death of my dad, um, they are the lowest of the low. They're, that's a disgusting and despicable thing to do, knowing that my brother was going back because our dad had died that morning. And then they still don't care. They showed no mercy running their scam. They still falsified the photographic evidence in order to steal 306 euros and 18 cents, even in this situation. Um, they knew it all, they were, they, they, what gets me is they could have just been happy because they would have got an extra nine days from this rental, the total rental time was ten days. They could have just bagged the extra nine days, got double the turnover on the car, but they didn't. And, that's what, and that is what is the most despicable thing. Um, they could have doubled that turnover, they didn't have to screw us, okay? And these car companies, Record Go, in, obviously in this case, have become so arrogant, so bold and so greedy and they're so confident in what they can do in ripping us off that they will outright commit fraud as they've just done without the fear of any comeback. And it's totally, totally wrong. 
My advice is when you return the car, and I'm, I'm, I'm really no expert, I've just been hit with just about every scam, but these days is to take a load of video and to take pictures of it. And I would go as far as standing with the guy, the check-in guy, and taking a video of you holding the, uh, the check-in receipt and getting the guy to say that yes, there is no damage on this car. I would go that far. Um, and I would make sure to keep your damage claim form saying that there's nothing wrong with it for another two or three months. Because at any point, these guys can come back and say, you damaged the car. They can clearly send you false photos that they're, they're going to commit fraud with and they don't care. So that's really what you've got to do, I think. And just protect yourself in every single way because these guys are just going above and beyond what they are surely legally allowed to do, but nobody stops them.